I'm Carrie Weber, Managing Editor of America Magazine. We are here today at the Los Angeles Religious Education Congress, an enormous gathering of thousands of Catholics in Southern California. They have everything you can imagine here. If you want jams and jellies made by monks, you can find them. If you want a doll of Jesus, you can find that here. If you want catechetical materials, also here. There's wonderful speakers, wonderful community, and we at America Magazine are proud to be a part of it. We are here at our expanded presence at our America Media booth, and over here we have some guys from the Jesuit Post. We have our associate editor, Ashley McKinless, Father Jim Martin. Let's go see how they're doing. Ashley McKinless. Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How was your experience at your very first Los Angeles Religious Education Congress? It's been so wonderful. It's really inspiring to see all these people who love the church and want to get more involved and want to learn about America. This is uh, Jason Welly. He is managing editor. So managing editor to managing editor. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel about uh, the direction Gen the Jesuit Post is going? I feel really good about it. I think we've had a lot of success in the last three years. And I actually really think that the American Media Partnership is going to be really good for both of our works. Me too. We've had a lot of fun this weekend. Yeah, we really have, actually. So Congress is kind of fun. Who knew? Yeah. So <laughs> a lot of people, actually. Apparently 40,000 people. Apparently 30 to 40,000 people. Let's go over to Editor-in-Chief, Michael Rossman. Gary Weber. How are you? I'm great. And how are you doing? I'm doing really well. We are really enthusiastic right now. <laughs> why, why are we so enthusiastic? This is that kind of energy that Congress brings out of us. What are you looking forward to about TJP? Yeah, I mean, it's been such a fun project to be part of it. Um, I was one of the original writers three years ago, and now I'm in a position of leadership, and I get to work with my Jesuit brothers, who are so much fun. And uh, it's been really great to share what we're already talking about with a wider audience. We couldn't agree more. Thank you very much, Michael Rossi. All, right. <laughs> All right, let's go find Father James Martin. I'm only here because she's so starstruck. <laughs> He's like Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he has, he has more hair than I do. Father James Martin. Yes. It turns out that people besides we who work at America know who you are. We didn't really know that, but we're glad we're glad now to find this out. You're popular here. How has your experience been this week? Uh, it's been great. I always like coming to Religious Ed Congress because it reminds me that the church is alive. Uh, it's filled with all sorts of people. Uh, most of the people here are very active in their parishes, so they're uh, DREs or pastoral associates or directors of music ministry, as well as pastors and sisters and brothers. So it's this great uh, kind of um, experience of the spirit. I love it, and I wouldn't be anywhere else uh, this weekend. No, we do. and the weather's not half bad. No, especially after especially the weather in New York. New York. Yeah, yeah, but I love yeah, it. Uh, happiest place on earth. It is, and right next to Disneyland. Right, but Disneyland does not have the real presence, so this is even happier. <laughs> Can't beat that.